Hey, hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We're going to continue today with our Becoming a Great Presenter. And you guys, this is a very important segment that we're talking about over the last several calls here because this is critical to your success. The main reason is you need to be prepared for the presentations. Otherwise, there's probably a higher probability of you not wanting to find business for your for your uh, for yourself period you know you go out there and you you might even prospect and find opportunities and leads and whatnot to go talk to um, you may you may do some follow-up but there's a chance that because you are not and you have to think about this very very seriously prepared for your presentation that you're either not going to prospect and if you do you're probably not going to be aggressive in your lead follow-up, which represents probably a good 80-90% of the appointments that you're going to get anyway. So you kind of, you know, play the game and you go out there and find business, but, <clears throat> you know, you don't follow up with the people, uh, first of all, because they don't give you a, an immediate, uh, you know, yeah, I'm excited that you called me and, oh my gosh, you sound so perfect for my for my, uh, for my opportunity that I want to do some business and, you know, come on over and I'll just sign the paperwork or it's not a friend or a family or a referral. It says, you know, come over and, and, uh, meet me and, uh, we'll do the business together. Okay. It's, it's very common that the reason we don't do those things, follow up and lead generate is because we don't want to hear the word. Yes. Kind of sounds weird, but it's often true. So, Let's keep that in mind as you're preparing. And I'm gonna push this to you, and it's very, very critically important that you guys get this understanding that you gotta be good at this. So today, or well, let me first say, yesterday we talked about uh, your tonality, your body language, <clears throat> the words that you use in your scripts are very, very important in your presentations, okay? Um, you know, the how you use your, your, your body language is, is very important. It's a, the largest part of our communication is our body language, eye contact, hand gestures, uh, body movement, etc. The tonality of your voice, your pitch, your pace, your speed, your uh, voice tonality is very, very critical. And the words happen to be the the smaller part of it. However, you need to have the right words in your scripts. Great questions that allow you to present efficiently. Now, today I'm going to quickly uh, go, and I'm not going to get into the detail because I have this on other recordings inside of my podcast at realprofitbuilders.com. All you simply need to type in is the word versatility, and there's, I think, three or four, maybe even five uh, different recordings that I did, each one on the different styles and personalities, and versatility is very important because this is oftentimes amongst all the things where there's a huge breakdown uh, in getting your contracts signed with your prospective purchasers. Very important to get this. And what we want to understand in its simplest terms, we want to get the understanding and know what we are saying to the people that we are dealing with in a way that meets their needs in the way that they connect with you and you build rapport with them. So if you remember any of what I've been talking about in any of these recordings, if you've been listening to these, remember that people buy from people who are like them. People buy from people who are like them. Another way to say it is people like people who are like them. People like people who are like them. In other words, are you mirroring and matching people to the degree that you are meeting their personality style? Now, you and I have our own styles, okay? I happen to have a particular style called a driver style in my, uh, in my, in, in my being, in my who I am, okay? You might be an analytical. You might be an expressive, enthusiastic type of person. You might be a quiet, passive, amiable type style. Okay, what we want to do is get to understand that's why I'm encouraging you to go back and listen to these recordings on the different styles because you want to get an understanding of what they are. 
You want to know who you are, obviously, and if you don't, you can take a disk profile test. If you want that link, send it to me. It's totally free, and I'll be more than happy to send you the link, Mike and Mike Husson, and I'll be and and you can take a look at your style. Now, what you want to do is once you understand the different styles, then you're going to understand how to better communicate with the people that you're dealing with. Okay, so if you walk in, and if I'm a driver and I walk in and start being being my style, which is a driver style, and I'm talking to an amiable, they might like me because of my energy and and my enthusiasm and my frankness and all of my bottom line kind of attitude. But there's a chance they won't buy from me. Why? Because I appear to them to be very aggressive. They might like it, but they won't appreciate it because it doesn't meet their need. If they got to deal with me for a period of time or if they're going through a sales process with me, then there's good there's going to be a good chance that I'll lose them altogether. Again, they might like it, but they won't necessarily buy from me. So what we want to make sure guys what we want what we do here is understand who are we selling to? What is their buying style? Okay, what is their personality style? Are they driver? Are they analytical? Are they the enthusiastic, expressive? Are they an amiable style? Once you understand that, you sell to that, right? You work in understanding their personality styles. Then once you garner rapport with them, because that's the best way to build rapport. Drivers love drivers. Analytical loves analyticals. Amiables love amiables. Expressive love ex loves expressives. So once you become like them, then there's a huge connection going on of rapport. Now, once you have that, it is now an opportune time for you to then lead them to where you want to go based on your particular style, never ignoring their style. But again, if I'm a driver and I'm talking to that amiable and I'm very passive and quiet and calm and collected and very, very, uh, you know, human with them. OK, and I'm a human person, I think. OK, but at the end of the day, once I get that connection, then I can start bubbling up a little bit more, getting more to my style to get them to make a final decision in, in working with me. And me working with them right so again we got to gain rapport with them by being like them get them get that connection going and then lead them to where you want to go based on your particular style okay so it's very important that you guys get this again go to my podcast site realprofitbuilders.com do the search just type in versatility and you should get a few recordings there that you can listen to i think it's like i said it's uh, i believe there's four parts to it maybe there's five but anyway it doesn't matter and then there's uh then you can listen to those and really get by going deep on those different styles so you can get them so what i want you to do today is first email me if you don't have one or you've never taken a personality test i use the disc profile um i, I lean with the wilson learning uh profile which is the driver the analytical the expressive and the um and the amiable but they're all fundamentally the same there's some distinctions but what's great about the disc profile when you take that test for yourself you're going to get a great report and it's going to give you a lot of distinctions a lot of a lot of things to learn from so you can start learning when you're talking to people how to respond to them and how to become like them and then go out there and make that happen so a couple of things get the profile done on yourself then start communicating in a way that people want to be communicated to for themselves. You are you, they are them, and then what you want to do, remember, is people like people who are like them. Once you have that connection, you have a strong rapport, it is at this point, then you can lead them down the path of getting the contract signed in your great presentation that I know you will deliver. Okay, guys, hope this makes sense. Go out and take this action today and begin working on it and begin getting involved in this understanding of becoming a great presenter engages this part of the process, working on understanding the different styles out there so you can be a great success in what you're doing. Okay, It works phenomenally well when you use it. I know that for sure. Okay, Again, you got any questions, email me, go to the website, talk to you later, make it a great day, go do something productive today and make it count. All right, talk to you later.